good guy, but he's not saved. Jump down to verse number 34. Because we're going to see Peter is sent to Cornelius to preach the gospel unto him and, and to tell him how to get saved. This is another example of someone who is seeking, who wants to know, who thinks they're doing the right thing, but they're doing it ignorantly. They don't really know exactly what they should be doing, but they, they have a, a genuineness about wanting to know who God is. And God sends a minister to that person, just like we saw in Acts chapter 8. The Ethiopian eunuch, he's reading the Bible. He's trying to understand it. He wants to know the truth, but he doesn't know it because the natural man cannot receive the, the things of the, the Spirit. A natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. So he needs to get saved in order to understand it, and he needs someone to guide him and to show him. Cornelius is the same exact example. He's someone who is unsaved, and he needs someone to show him. Now, he's trying to do the right thing, he, he's, you know, overall, I call him a good man, right? He's giving alms. He's fearing God. So God sends Peter to go and preach the gospel unto him. Look at verse number 34. Jump down to verse 34. The Bible says, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth I perceive that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. That word I say ye know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And we are witnesses of all things which he did, both in the land of the Jews and in Jerusalem, whom they slew and hanged on a tree. Him, God raised up the third day and showed him openly. So what is he doing? He's teaching the basics about Jesus Christ and who he was and what he did and how he died on the cross, how he rose again. This is the gospel, right? Verse number 40, or verse 41. Not to all the people, but unto witnesses chosen before of God, even to us who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach unto the people and to testify that it is he which was ordained of God to be the judge of quick and dead. So he's talking about judgment. He's talking about the fact that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, rose again from the dead. We've witnessed it. He came back to life. And here he's preaching it to Cornelius. Verse number 43, to him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. And there it is. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And he's, he's preaching that to him. Whosoever believeth him shall receive remission of sins. He gives him the gospel. While Peter yet spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them which heard the word. Now these people got saved from Peter preaching the gospel unto them. It's very clear even in the next chapter. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, I, I've, I've heard people question this before and just wonder, oh, were these people already saved or how did this happen? Chapter 11 recounts, Peter goes over this same story again with, with the Jews about what actually happened when he went to this town because everyone was kind of freaking out. The Jews were just, they didn't understand. You know, even Peter himself, he needed to be shown in a vision that God wanted them to go and evangelize the Gentiles. He had this concept that even in this chapter it says that, well, you know that is not lawful to go on to the, you know, onto the uncircumcised or onto the Gentiles. Now, that is not in God's law, that you can't keep company with someone who is uncircumcised. That was something that he thought was unlawful or that was set up as a law within the, you know, the, the Pharisaical religion, but that was not something from God's word, and God had to show him, no, you do need to preach the gospel. These people, these people do need to be saved, and he gave him that vision, and... That's one of the reasons why this event even took place. And uh, he's able, you know, he sees this, the Holy Ghost follows them, they're able to speak with other tongues, other languages, and, and it's just evidence that, yeah, these people truly did get saved.